Hello, this is Voices for Learning, where we help you grow as a voice actor. My name is Susan Fouché, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can sync up your audio track to an existing video in Studio One by using the um, feature in Studio One called Video Player. And if you don't have this feature in your Studio One DAW, that's okay. Stick around to the very end and I will show you how you can download it and the pros and cons of having it versus not having it. So the way that you do that is, I mean, first I just go ahead and lay down my track. I first know about like what the time frame is going to be. So I've got my track here and I actually have two tracks as you can see um, and they both have videos. I have two different videos I had to do in one day. So the way that I'd go about it to add the video to the track is I just simply go to the view menu and I go all the way down to the bottom to video player. And as you can see, um, this little window pops up, the video player, and it says movie not loaded. So what I need to do is just add that video. I just simply click on the plus sign right here down at the bottom. And I just choose the video that's in my folder already. And it's this one with all the numbers. So there that is. Now it automatically sticks, it automatically thinks that the video is at the zero zero time stamp. So if my video, for instance, if my if my audio track is over here at the six minutes, I'm going to have to change that and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I think the best thing to do though, um, to kind of like keep you in line with like the time of the video is to take the audio that's actually in, existing in the video, take that audio out of the video and put it into your Studio One uh, track. To do that, to take the video audio out, you simply click on the Extract Audio button. It looks like a little wave file with a down arrow right down here at the bottom. Just click on that and it'll say, do you want to extract the audio to a new track? Yes. And what you'll see is a new track popped up right above your raw track or whatever you've recorded in. What I like about this and what I think is really useful is that it gives you the time of how long the video is. So I know that this video is exactly or pretty much three minutes and 30 seconds. So when I actually go to edit the audio to make it match up to the video, I want to make sure, first of all, that I'm not going over the amount of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and play it and see if it actually does line up, which I know it does because I did this before. So let's go ahead and play it. Let's take a quick look at how you can make your own LED neon sign using our design tool. It's simple to use, works on desktop and mobile devices, and makes it easy to create something unique and really special. First, enter your text. It can be anything, your name, your favorite quote. So as you can hear, I'm talking really, really, really fast, and I didn't have a whole lot of spaces in between. So what was nice about video syncing is that I can, as I'm listening, as I'm watching the video, I can quickly go in and take out spaces or add spaces in my, in my audio track. That is the, the, just the beauty of audio syncing. And you have this lovely you know, audio track that you can deliver to your client, and they can just put it in their video, and boom, they're done. But what if, like in my case today, you have two of these jobs where you're going to sync uh, audio into two different videos? Let me show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is close this video viewer out, and I'm going to go to my next track. So this is an ad for a mini air conditioner. So um, what I'm going to do is make sure that I've got my... Um, well, I already laid down the track, as you can see. I already went ahead and recorded it. And I've got it right at six minutes, so I'm just going to make sure that my cursor is right at six minutes. I'm going to go back to View, Video Player, and um, 
as you can see, it's still got that, it's still thinking that it's, it's looking at the old video that I just showed you. We want to put in a new video. So I'm going to simply uh, remove the video by clicking on the minus sign to remove the video that's existing already in the player. And I'm going to add a new video. The new video that I'm adding for this one is the TBG Mini Aircon Add 1. Just double click it. This one um, was filmed on a person's iPhone. And I mean, I see these all the time, so obviously this is an internet ad. Now, Oh my gosh, it's not showing, it's black, what do I do? Well, I have to make sure that it knows that I am at the six minute mark. So to do that, I just simply click on this little clock um, button for the video offset. And it's just showing you where is the video, where's the offset? Are we starting at zero? No, we're not starting at zero, we're starting at six. So I click on that little offset button, let me pull it down into this monitor. and. Um, the first set of zeros is the for the hour. The second set of zeros is for the minute. So I'm just going to type in six, which means that it's we're starting at the six minutes on the track. Hit OK. And there it is. And you can see that the name of the video came up. Now, what I want to do is I want to take the audio that's existing in that video and I want to put it in a new track. To do that, I just simply click on the Extract Audio button that looks like a WAV file with a down arrow. And do I want to extract the audio to a new track? Yes. And it creates a brand new track. So even though this track right here, that's for the first video that I did. This but this track that's above it is for the new one. So let's see how this matches up. Okay. Um, the client actually went ahead and recorded her voice into the video. I guess she went, just wanted to help me out, which I appreciate. That's fine. Um, so I am just going to mute the track so I don't hear her voice. I'm not going to hear it. But let's just kind of like see how that works and let's see how if we can just sync the audio to the pictures, to the visuals that are in the video. So let's just go ahead and play it. <laughs> Hang on, I need to unmute it. Okay. Have you ever wanted to jump back into the shop? Have you ever wanted to jump back into the shower because of the scorching heat? Beat the heat this summer with the Pink Goose 3-in-1 Mini Air Conditioner. Just put some water and ice and get cool in... Okay, so you can see in the video, it's saying just add water and ice. And I said that a little bit too soon. Here, just listen again. Conditioner. Just put some water and ice and get... Okay, so I said just put some water and ice, and then the video shows just put some water and ice. So I'm going to need to put some space, and all I'm going to do is just simply go down to this other track, copy a little bit, and put it right there. It's probably too much, but that's okay. We'll fix it. Because of the scorching heat, Beat the heat this summer with the Pink Goose 3-in-1 Mini Air Conditioner. Just put some water and ice and get cool instantly. It's perfect for anywhere and everywhere. It's portable, quiet, and super easy to use. Get your very own Mini Air Conditioner today. Okay, so what you're seeing though is a problem though because this track, which is the existing video track, is shorter than my audio track. So I gotta fix that. So I am going to take a little bit of space out in front of the just add water and ice. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of space out in between here and a little bit of space out between this phrase, between these two phrases, and cut this out too. And that looks like it's gonna be about right. Sorry, my stomach is growling, I'm starving. Have you ever wanted to jump back into the shower because of the scorching heat? Beat the heat this summer with the Pink Goose 3-in-1 Mini Air Conditioner. 
Just put some water and ice and get cool instantly. It's perfect for anywhere and everywhere. It's portable, quiet, and super easy to use. Get your very own mini air conditioner today. Okay, and that matches up very nicely. So my next step would be just simply to export this raw track into my Isotope RX, um, master it, put it back in here, and then just go ahead and uh, export that and send it on to the client. Now you may be sitting there in your Studio One and going, I don't have a video player in my Studio One. If you don't have a video player in your Studio One DAW, it's because you do not have the correct version. This is the um, more expensive version. This is the professional version. You probably have the artist version if you're not seeing the video player. And I'll take you really fast to the Personas website and just show you the price difference. So here's the Studio One um, version 5. I actually have version 4. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade to whatever. It's, it's all fine. But you'll see there is a Studio One Professional and a Studio One Artist. The Studio One Artist is a lot cheaper. Studio One Professional is more expensive. And I'll show you the price difference. Um, okay, so Studio One 5 Professional is going to run you... If you just buy it, just I've never you've never had it before, it's gonna cost you four hundred dollars. If you buy the Studio One Artist, that's only a hundred dollars. So if you're just starting out and you're like, I don't ever have to video sync anything, then just get the artist, play around with that, get you know, get some experience, and then when you're ready and you're getting orders and your people are requesting you to do the video syncing, then go ahead and start thinking about upgrading. If you already have artists and you want to upgrade, let me show you how expensive what that what that's gonna run you. Um, so if you have artists already and you want to upgrade to professional because you want the video syncing or you want some other features that do not exist in the artist version, to upgrade is, we'll, we'll run you about $300. So um, whenever I have to purchase anything, I always think about, you know, from a business standpoint, what's going to be my return on investment? How quickly am I going to be able to make that money back? So I charge $25 per minute to sync a video. So if a video is one minute, that is $25 extra to sync it. If the video is two minutes, well, that's 25 times two, $50 to sync that video. So if this is going to run you $300, let's say you already have artist and you want to upgrade to professional, you're going to have to have 12 minutes of uh, uh, audio syncing to video to get your money uh, back, basically, to, to pay off what you owe. And then I always have to think like, well, after that, how many orders am I going to have? Like really, how much money am I going to make off of this? So I think ten in terms of like that, how quickly can I make the money back? And for $300, um, you know, if that's a lot of money for you, then you need to think like, I need to make it back pretty quickly. If it's not a whole lot of money for you, if you're, you know, making, you know, up in the like thousands, maybe $10,000 a month at this point, then pff, get get it, obviously. Um, that's, that's a no-brainer. But if you're just starting out and $300 is a lot to you, then just kind of, I would say, hold off. Hold off on all this. Do what you want. I am just one of these people that I pay every, I pay cash for everything. I don't ever do any kind of credit cards or I don't even have a credit card. So um, I have to be able to pay cash for this. And if I don't have the money, then I just don't buy it. I have to save up for it. And if I am having to save up for it, then that's kind of telling me <laughs> maybe I'm not ready for this yet. Maybe I need to like just work on marketing, maybe getting some more regular clients, things like that. Um, but do what you want. This is just my opinion. That's all it is. But um, yeah, that's how you that's how you upgrade if you wanted to and just add to cart and then buy it, <laughs> obviously. So let me go back into Studio One really fast and I'll just kind of point out um, just the kind of the main points. To get your video to show, you just simply go to View, Video Player, 
and then to add the video to the video player you click on the plus button that imports the video and then you want to go ahead and change that video offset if your track is in the middle if your tracks at the very beginning don't worry about it and then to um, extract the audio from the video and get that audio into your studio on track it's the, just the little extract audio button right there that's that i hope you learned something and i hope this was helpful for you please like please subscribe to my channel for more interesting tips and tricks about studio one and many other wonderful things about voice acting hope you have a great day keep going you're doing great especially if you're listening to this and you are ready to do some audio syncing yeah, you're doing great take care i'll see you later bye